Jess or Sav or Savannah or Savvy, whatever you feel like calling me. So today I decided to do another hair slash commentary video. So while I do this wig install, I am also going to be doing things that we need to leave in 2021. Things that need to die instantly right now. Flatline. They need to go. They need to go. So before we start with the commentary section, I just wanted to show um, the wig. It's from Labrani. I bought it from AliExpress. I get like all my wigs from AliExpress because I'm cheap. <laughs> I just don't feel like spending so much money on wigs, especially when I'm not like a pro at it. So it's like, I'm gonna go spend like $300, $500 on a wig just to go and like butcher it. So I ain't doing it. It's red, it's like cherry red or fire truck red. I bought it for a specific reason because I do not usually wear red. I don't usually wear any other color other than black. Like I've never even tried a brown wig before. So this is a super drastic change for me. It is a frontal. This one is a frontal. It's 12 inches because I just wanted a bob. Like, I really like short hair. It's a T part. It's like 13 by four. Yeah, 13 by four. It does come with lashes. It comes with two uh, like brown wig caps, which I've been in need for. And it comes with like one of those bandy things that you put in the back to like adjust it. I actually don't even know what it This is the wig. I'm not gonna bleach the knots. Well, at least like not right now. I'll probably do it like another time because usually I go to my other sister's house to bleach the knots because she has like all of the stuff for it. I just got way too excited to do this and I just like couldn't wait to go to her house and then do it. So I'm just gonna be using the um, makeup way. You know, y'all know what I mean. It is a tea part. I kind of regret it. I should have got like a. <laughs> but it is what it is, honestly. I'm probably not even gonna wear this like often. It has the two um, adjustable bands at the back, and it has four clips inside of it. It is a, um, I think it's 180 density. Oh my gosh. It kinda looks like orange. <laughs> I'm gonna get my makeup, my concealer. I think it's concealer. I don't really know makeup. So I'm gonna get whatever I have <laughs> and I'm just going to put it around the lace. It's like, oh my God, everybody was outside and that's why I decided to film and now everybody wants to come back inside. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, so the first thing that needs to be left in 2021 are edges. We've gotten our hand. Every time we have nice things, we we mess it up. Styles that y'all are doing with your baby hairs now, it, sis, no. You'll see girls like getting their hair done and it looks really nice. And then they have these dramatic ass looking edges and it just ruins the whole style. Why do you have to be so damn extra? Like, oh my God, some of them are just not it. The ones that I hate the most right now are those like fluffy, like Jada Wada edges. I don't know if Jada Wada was the one that started it, but I always see her with it. Like her and Diera, I see them with it the most. At this point, we're not even using our baby hairs. Like I'll see girls taking the whole front part of their hair to do edges. What the fuck? Then you're you're cutting it because obviously it's too long because it's not your baby hair. It's your front of your hair. And you're like curling it and then you're like gelling the front of it and you're just letting the rest just like, girl, if you don't go and put that hair into your ponytail, I'm not even playing with you guys. It's honestly very, very awful that we're doing this. And this is why we can't have nice things because we get nice things and now we don't know how to take care of it. Now we don't know what to do with it. It's just... It's too much, it's way too much. The next thing we need to leave in 2021 is older generations making it seem like every younger generation was worse than the next. I'm tired of seeing videos of kids. Sometimes it's not even kids. Like sometimes it could be like grown people and you'll look in the comments and be like, oh, this is why I hate Gen Z. Gen Z's are so stupid. Girl. That big person in that video is a millennial and that tiny little kid is a gen alpha. So I don't know how you're blaming Gen Z on everything that's happening. So freaking stupid how older generations always think like, oh, we weren't as vulgar 
as the younger generation was. Like I saw this video, there was this video of this mom and her daughter. The kid, she was probably like, she didn't even look like she was like a year old yet. Like she could barely walk. And they were doing that challenge, you know, the bum, bum, bum. You know, the mom walked in doing her little thing. And then the little girl like walked in right after her and she like got down on her hands and knees and started doing this like, you know, just throwing her diaper in a circle. Like, you know, <laughs> she was putting in work, like she was just dancing. And there's people like, ooh, this generation, they don't know how to act, da 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 da. These generation of parents. They don't know how to properly take care of their kids. And this generation is so exposed to like so much vulgarity. And I'm sorry, not to disrespect anybody, but I'm pretty sure 60s babies were sniffing crack. I don't know how we're the ones that are like off the rails. Like there's always something in every generation that kids were doing that was inappropriate. So I don't know why every time Kids now are doing stuff. Older people want to be like, ooh, Gen Z, you guys are awful. Oh my goodness. Like, come on now. I put the um, foundation all over the lace. Now for the next step. I'm not gonna be doing the bald cap method, one, because I'm not gonna have this wig on for long, and two, because I don't know how to do it. I'm going to take my foundation again, and I'm just going to put some right, like where the parting, where the part would be. If this fly doesn't go home now, to put the wig on. I see the potential, I see it. It's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. Now what I'm gonna do is glue it and cut it. So I use the Got To Be um, Styling Gel to glue my wig. I don't usually use it too often because I feel like it gives me pimples. Either this is giving me pimples or something else that I'm using is giving me pimples, but I've been getting pimples like way too often. I never used to really get pimples. I usually use the Got To Be Glue Spray, but my cousin hijacked it. So I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be stuck with this for a while. I do glue the wig down first before I cut off the lace. I just get too scared. Like when I see people like cutting the lace first and then they glue it, no, it scares me. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna glue it first. The next thing that we need to leave in 2021 is coil array. Or more specifically, pretending like she's talented. I'm so sorry. She's not a good rapper. I don't know why we always, this is why humans, we, we just need to, we need to stop. I don't know why there's times where we get these terrible artists and we hype them up so much to the point where they become like these huge icons. This reminds me of when we all started hyping up friggin' Blueface. Blueface became famous for literally rapping off beat. Are we serious? We just stop doing that. I'm not gonna lie. I be bumping um, like Big Purr and I got um, No More Parties downloaded on my phone. Sometimes I'll be walking down the street and I just bust out singing, Numb to pain. Other than that, it's trash. Like Big Purr and No More Parties and whatever other song that she has released, I don't know any of the others. Have you listened to any other part other than that one part probably got like big because of TikTok? No, you don't. You don't. You don't because after that, you turn off the song and you go listen to an artist that's actually good. And then the thing is, the thing that's making it even worse is that she feels like she's such a good artist. So it's one thing to just like be putting out music. It's another thing to start having delusions. The fact that she got nominated best female rapper of the year and best new artist of the year is tragic. The fact that we got her to that position where she became a nominee. Looking at it though, like especially the best female rappers of the year, there weren't any really like good ones. Like in my opinion, who I feel like should win is like Doja Cat, Sweetie, maybe Meg. Everybody else, no. I don't really like Mulatto. I mean, she does drop good tracks, I guess, but like in comparison, 
We need to stop feeding into Koyla Ray's delusions. We need to let her um, start realizing that she is not that great of an artist. She can still drop tracks all she wants, but we should not be hyping it the way that we do. The next thing that needs to die in 2020 or 2021, is it 2020 or 2021? Holy what year is it? <laughs> it's 2021, right? Another thing that needs to die in 2021 is WYD. I'm so tired of men hitting me up and saying, what are you doing? Every 10 minutes, I'm doing the same thing I just told you I was doing 45 seconds ago when you said that to me for the fifth time today. In my um, previous videos, I was talking about how this generation, like, we lack social skills. And honestly, that just proves my point that we do not, we do not know how to properly conduct a conversation. If you knew how to properly conduct a conversation, you wouldn't be asking somebody what they're doing every four seconds. It literally does not do anything for the conversation because they'll ask, they'll be like, oh, W-Y-D. And you're like, nothing. Or I don't know, watching TV or something. And they're like, true? True? Anything else? That's it? Just true. Okay. Okay. No way I put the glue too high on my head. Yeah. <laughs> Is this one stretchier? <laughs> the next thing that we need to leave in 2021 is obsessed K-pop slash anime fans. Y'all are the reason why I was a closeted K-pop fan. Y'all are the reason why I was ashamed to watch anime. If I was ever put in the same category as some of you people, I would run away. It's so embarrassing. I wish we can go back to the good old days where everybody was just ashamed to watch anime and would just, you know, talk about it by themselves behind closed doors. Because now anime is so friggin' popular and everybody's talking about it all the time and it's like, fine like i'm not one of those people where i'm like Ooh, i hate when people like like the same things that i like like it's not like that but when you're like obsessing over it gosh like i'm tired i go on tiktok everybody is saying like shut up shut up shut up shut up have you guys not even saying it properly i try to tell you it's it's not even that good the beginning was kind of fun. Like the beginning of any show or whatever is fun because it's you're like, oh, you're trying to figure out who the characters are and you know what the whole the plot is and everything. And then once you figure it out what the f it was, it was like, okay, interesting. There's action, interesting. Now I'm bored. I'm just gonna go and watch something else now. I'm so tired of going on the internet and everybody's saying friggin' sussy baka. Everybody's calling each other a silly baka. Shut the. F <laughs> not have to 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 let the world know that you like anime you don't like it's one thing to like just be talking about anime or making some videos like in reference to some shows that you watch and stuff but it's another thing to make your entire personality your whole aesthetic all about anime it's funny that i'm saying that because my entire home screen is just anime but still that's all the anime you'll see out of me I don't have any anime clothing. I don't cosplay. I don't cosplay. But you know, with this red wig, I'm I'm thinking of a couple of characters I can uh, I can rock. <laughs> One of the worst things about anime like lovers is sh the shipping of characters. If I see one more person shipping Deku and Bakugo, I am going to literally. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm heated. I'm mad. Like, stop. Why are we shipping Deku and Bakugo? Like, the, 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 they're shipping like meaningless characters together. Not that the characters themselves are meaningless, but the shipping of these two characters is so meaningless. It makes no sense because you're shipping characters that have had no sort of like romantic, like, connection with each other throughout the entire show you know what one of the worst ones was i don't know how many of you have watched um re-zero but i stumbled upon a video one day and there were people shipping rem and ram twin sisters oh my gosh let's not normalize incest let's not normalize incest 
why are we shipping twin sisters like um okay let's see um subaru and amelia proper ship makes sense right tatsumi and akami makes sense right but like tanjiro and the freaking spider mother what the frig <laughs> there's no romantic connection between these characters that you guys are shipping oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh before i watched akame i saw a video of people shipping akame and kiromi i don't know how to pronounce her name kiromi whatever they're sisters <laughs> i never showed who Kir um, kiromi was in the video they just showed akame and they were just talking about akame and kiromi like i shipped that whatever i don't remember the video but i was like oh I was like, yeah, I'm about to watch Akame. Like, I can't wait to see, like, who Karomi is. Like, because I like romance. I like little romance in, like, anime shows. I like little romance in everything that I watch. So I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see this little love connection. Then you watch the show and then you find out it's her sister. What the f- Do you guys need therapy? You guys need help? Why are we shipping Tanjiro and Nezuko? Oh my god! This needs to chill out. Chill out. And then these K-pop fans, people that obsess over K-pop are probably one of the worst of human beings on the planet. There's K-pop fans that have caused like idols to either not be able to date or to not be able to be open about their relationships because there are people that will literally want to kill them. Sis, he wasn't even going to be with you if he wasn't with her. So let him openly be happy with the girl that he's with oh my goodness you guys are so dramatic you're so dramatic you're so extra it's getting out of hand out of pocket so i want to take this off and see if it's glued down now but like i feel like i should wait a little longer because i don't want to take it off and then have to like put more glue on it so i'm just gonna just wait a little bit so i'm gonna take my scissors I'm gonna cut it in like three sections and then I'm gonna use this, uh, what's it called? Eyebrow razor to like, you know, cut off the rest of the lace. I butchered the hell out of this. Get it? Butcher? Cause I'm cutting it up. Nah, but I did it up. I'm just gonna go back around it with the glue and then I'm going to put some thing powder on it i'm gonna tie it back down for a little while and then yeah we'll see what i get so i tied it back down i'm gonna tie it and leave it like this for a little while another thing we are leaving in 2021 are kanye shoes those like slippers or sandals bear claws we need to stop pretending like they look good these ones or wherever they are those ones are whatever i'm like okay fine like i've seen some people like wear like like rock them with like really nice fits so i was like okay fine i give you have like a nice fit and you can actually properly rock them it is what it is but the freaking like the ones that look like a freaking hamster bit through them with all the holes in it like those ones no one can tell me with a straight face that those look good you cannot come to, you cannot tell me those look good i don't care y'all are spending 421 dollars on i don't know i guess everybody has different tastes like if you like them you like them but for the people that are buying them just like solely because they are like yeezys like yeezy slides y'all need counseling you're weird another thing we need to leave in 2021 well less being thing more being people the ace family chris clarence queen and bianca and whatever her big head husband's name is we're done with them queen queen is different because queen actually has a career outside of youtube and outside of being a youtube family we're fine with her she's not in drama as much as her two girlfriends are chris and clarence these girls they need to go why are you guys always beefing with each other you guys look like you have the same mom let's let's just let's just chill out usually it's always chris i'm not gonna lie usually it's always chris but like clarence just like feeds into it like clarence 
always complaining. Clarence is always talking about, oh, he's so grown and oh, Chris is so childish, da 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 da. But you're feeding into that. Is it for money? Do they get money every time they're like in the limelight or something? Maybe that's what it is. The Ace family needs to disappear on the face of the earth. Not disappear literally, like, but off the internet. Why is Austin getting into a boxing match with friggin' Bryce Hall? Like, that's when you know you're desperate. Austin, you have a wife and children. We might be desperate for money right now, but that's why there's places like Home Depot, the Superstore, Starbucks, you know, get a job, part-time, full-time. I know it's minimum wage, but it looks like you're suffering right now. So, you know, let's start, uh, you know, writing up that resume, filling out applications, going to job interviews, because it seems like that's what you need right now. Because I don't know who would put themselves in this situation. Like, whatever and then bianca and her big head coon husband i don't know i i hate them i don't watch any of these people first of all i've never watched youtube families i'd rather chug vinegar i don't know what was so entertaining about watching them she's so annoying she's so annoying she's so annoying from the time where she like dressed up as a dark-skinned ghetto woman to prank her boy her husband to the time when she had when they had their newborn baby and she said she wished the baby had prettier eyes because the baby was born with brown eyes like do you guys not know how genetics work basic biology sis all of them they just need to go i i hate seeing them i hate i hate seeing them i hate seeing them freaking get off the internet just just go on yolana fix my life because you guys need Therapy. I do not want to see them anymore on my timeline. No more. Shader, stop. I'm tired of it. Ooh. Other than the way I cut it, it kind of does look pretty good. Your forehead big as shit. <laughs> the last thing that we are leaving in 2021 is Meek Mill. What is this? need to stop letting him out okay first he's getting into problems with freaking six nine and now you're like tweeting weird shit. please get help your music is not that bad okay so don't make me despise you just relax relax we don't need to hear from you for the rest of the year in fact we don't need to hear from you ever again you can keep dropping music but we don't need to hear from you so uh since i'm not going to finish this anymore Soon. I'm gonna dip, come back, show you the results, and just conclude this damn video because I feel like this has taken me the entire freaking day and I'm tired. And I just woke up a couple hours ago, but I'm ready to go back to sleep. So I'll be right back. So this is the final product. Could have been better. I just wanted to see if like I could like red. And I do. I really like red on me. It looks pretty nice. I kinda wanna straighten it now. <laughs> I literally always forget I have to end these damn videos. Oh my gosh. I was like ready for bed and everything. And I was like, wait, don't I have something to do? Yeah, so that was my very um unprofessional wig install. <laughs> um i hope you liked it i hope you also liked me ranting about some of the things that need to literally drop dead in 2020 it needs to stay here we need to bury it cremate them they can't come with us into the new year i'm being so serious but yeah so let me know if you guys want to see another hair video let me know what type of commentary videos you guys want to see i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed my previous videos and i hope you enjoy my future videos and without further ado class dismissed <laughs>